So the question that has been on a lot of our minds ever since Marvel decided to do like the most unthinkable thing and break the internet for the first time since like Baby Shark was released and now it's Doctor Doom is coming to the MCU. We've all had this one question, right? We know he's getting his own movie now, which is Avengers Doomsday. We know he's getting his other own movie, seems to be, I think, Avengers Secret Wars. Will there be any other potential cameos or appearances of Robert Downey Jr.'s Doctor Doom? Again, there was also a report that said that he's getting paid like 40 million plus to do these movies. So some people online were like a bit skeptical <laughs> to say the, the, the least that they... They didn't think he was probably going to be in any other movies just because Robert Downey Jr., I mean, you have to go into like fucking debt to be able to afford this man. So it really had a lot of people thinking, would we see him? And the question that I had was, if we're going to see Robert Downey Jr. in another movie outside of these two as Victor Von Doom, Dr. Doom, Tony Stark variant, fucking Lana Rhodes, whatever they're going to be calling him in this movie, I don't know. My question was is, surely we are going to be getting Robert Downey Jr. in potentially a movie like Fantastic Four. And again, the reports are saying that Robert Downey Jr.'s Doom reportedly is in the MCU Fantastic Four before making his Avengers 5 debut, being reported by Jeff Snyder. It goes on to say that Robert Downey Jr.'s Doctor Doom will reportedly be introduced to the MCU in the mid slash post credit scene in the Fantastic Four First Steps movie. The report also does reveal the original info received was that Robert Downey Jr.'s character is a Tony Stark variant, although that might not be the case. So yeah, that is super interesting that maybe there is a little bit of self-doubt in some of these reporters that Robert Downey Jr., might not be playing a Tony Stark variant like we all thought it, he would be. Maybe the Russo brothers were actually telling the truth when they said that this man would be playing Victor Von Doom. Now again, I still have my massive doubts on this. I really do think they're going to go with the Tony Stark variant. And I think that just makes more sense. Again, I know it's not the comic book accurate Victor Von Doom that everyone wants, but the idea of the world's smartest man, the guy who created time travel and saved the universe in two and a half days, the idea of him not using that for good, but using that for bad, is actually a really cool story focus and element that I'm very, very interested to see how they, of course, do decide to actually go about that. And again, the thing is, right, the, there's going to be cool scenes if they do have him as a Tony Stark variant, especially one that people suggested, what if he is fighting Spider-Man and something happens and somehow you see his face and Peter's like, Mr. Stark, and Tony's like, I don't even know who you are. Also online, there was someone who actually created this before uh, the confirmation that he would be playing Dr. Doom, and it was actually when the rumors were spreading that these leaks were happening, that Robert Downey Jr. was going to be playing Dr. Doom, and it was one that actually had a, like, kind of design of what if Dr. Doom's mask is like a modified Iron Man helmet, and holy shit, does it look fucking cool and menacing. It's like a futuristic Iron Man helmet um, that's all silver, with obviously the Doctor Doom normal clothes and all of this stuff. Oh my god, it nearly made me orgasm more than a Lana Rhodes video ever fucking could. So yeah, this is really interesting that they are going to be giving us Robert Downey Jr. in Fantastic Four. It's actually very, very exciting. Even though it is a post credit scene, I actually believe we might have a ton of mentions of potentially like Tony Stark or Victor Von Doom, whoever he's going to be playing. I have a feeling they're going to have a ton of mentions of him throughout the movie, but instead of like showing him, they're going to be focusing more on Galactus, who we know is the main villain, and Silver Surfer, who we know we're getting in the movie. Again, we're getting a female Silver Surfer. I was pretty upset at that at the start because I felt like these comic book 
castings of gender swaps and race swaps were getting a bit out of hand, especially, you know, I don't really care if it's a more minor character like um, Commissioner Gordon. You know, they got a black actor to play Commissioner Gordon. He did a great job. But a character like Mr. A character like fucking Silver Surfer, who's supposed to be super iconic and one of the most popular villains in movie history and comic book history, having a gender swap did not make any sense to me. It really still doesn't. But then I learned in the comics, there are a female Silver Surfer and I think she goes by a different name and all this shit. I'm hoping they go with that direction and that saves us uh, opportunity to have a male Silver Surfer later on. I'm not exactly too sure. But though they're definitely going to be focusing on those two guys as the villains, I think. And then in a post credit scene, I'm assuming we're going to finally get to see Victor Von Doom or Tony Stark. And I don't know if he's going to be coming Doctor Doom, whatever it might be. Because we got to remember, Avengers Doomsday is apparently going to be pretty similar to Infinity War where like a quarter of the Infinity War movie was a origin story to Thanos. I wouldn't be surprised if they upped this and instead of it being a quarter, a third of this Avengers Doomsday movie is actually an origin story of not only Doctor Doom, but kind of acts as like Fantastic Four 1.5. I wouldn't be surprised if the Fantastic Four play more of a, a big role than almost any character in the next Avengers movie. Because I genuinely believe it's gonna be like Fantastic Four 1.5. And it's gonna be how like Civil War was where there were all these like Avengers characters in, but it was a Captain America story. And it mainly focused on Captain America. And then I think it will be like Infinity War as well. It's an Avengers story, but at least a quarter of it is based off Thanos flashbacks, Thanos origin, all of this type of stuff, right? I think that's what Avengers Doomsday is going to be about. I wouldn't be surprised if like a third of the movie is really origin based, is really about Doctor Doom, whether that's Victor Von Doom, Tony Stark, all of these type of things. And I think the post credit scene of Fantastic Four is just going to be like the old, you know, post credit scenes of Thanos back in the day where it was just Thanos like, I don't know, picking up the glove and being like, fine, I'll do it myself. Thanos like looking at the camera like I don't know looking like he's about to touch me I think that was the Avengers one I, th I think this could just be like that but I am hoping that this post credit scene is more of like a one to two minute clip of Robert Downey Jr. doing something cool to really get us excited for Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars and maybe even I, I really hope they do this I'm hoping that like Avengers Doomsday is Doctor Doom as the main villain. I think Secret Wars could be a mixture of a bunch of different people as the main villain. It'd be cool if he doesn't really get defeated and we see him as like the main villain of Fantastic Four 2. Something like that. I don't really know how they're going to go about this. Again, as I said, Avengers Doomsday could really be basically Fantastic Four 1.5 or Fantastic Four 2 in a sense. So I'm really interested to see how they're going to go about this. I would very much like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions. Are you guys excited to see Robert Downey Jr. in the Fantastic Four movie? Or are you guys not? Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest gaming content, movie content, all of the above. Uh, and yeah, go subscribe to my sports channel, my IRL slash channels. Links for them will be in the description down below. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>